Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 set of videos and this is the last video in the fundamentals and the next video will start the in-depth part of it but this is the last part of the fundamentals in this video we're going to go over organizing for efficiency now we want to be as efficient as we can in organizing so you have to ask why should I organize well we've gone over a few things before about organizing and why you'd want to the main one is you might come into a project that has just loads and loads of uh, assets in it and you you want to find that one piece that you need to use and searching through all of these and you could have 10 15 times this many inside of a project and trying to find that one piece that you need if you don't remember the name of it can be a nightmare now um, during this video we're gonna go in and clean this up and make it so we can we we actually get this entire thing organized and this is just a small project it's a very small project most of the time it's very detailed and if you start organizing right when you begin then it's gonna make it that much easier as you get farther and farther into your project because the farther and farther you go the less inclined you are to organize your content and if you get in the mindset at the beginning that you want to be as organized as you can not only does it make your work faster but the person that you're working for will realize that uh, it's a good idea to hire you. And the organization starts with the project panel. And that's what I have maximized here is the project panel. Now there's several different things here in the project panel. And on the left here is the actual name of the file. Now, once it's in here, you can change this name to anything you want. Like if you know that um, Garden Borders is the uh, the jump back that you use for a uh, an interview section, you can just right click and you can rename it, and you put uh, jump back for uh, interview, and it doesn't change the name of the file on the on the hard drive it only changes the link to that file so you can name these whatever you feel like like if I open this up and I see that that is a tan uh, color mat I can come in and rename this tan color mat and it doesn't matter what you what you uh, name it in here it doesn't change any files on your hard drive it doesn't change the name of anything it's just a pointer to someplace else so don't worry about changing names here or moving them around or changing them or anything even if these things are already in use in your in your uh, project um, Premiere Pro will go through and when we go back onto the timeline wherever this color mat is it will change the name on the timeline to whatever you change it here so 